everybody, and I'm here in Hollywood at the Paramount Pictures Studios for the Los Angeles Times Celebration of Food and Wine. Let's celebrate. You know, the Beverly Hills event didn't have this. I'm here with Suzanne Gowen, award-winning chef, restaurateur, and cookbook author. Artie Sequera, the next Food Network star. Bree Drummond, the pioneer woman. Noelle Carter, the manager of the Los Angeles Times Test Kitchen. Russ Parsons, the food editor-in-chief of the Los Angeles Times. Yum, yum, yum. First annual Paramount Pictures Studios. What do you think? It's crazy. We've got all kinds of food here, all kinds of cooks. 8,000 people, and everybody's here for the food and wine. Fresh thyme, a bay leaf, whole garlic cloves. You take this package and you bury this in the coals. You leave it there till you know in your heart that it's done. How does it feel to be such a kick ass chef? A kick ass chef? <laughs> It feels amazing. It feels amazing to be validated in that way. Yeah. Rumor has it there's a feature film being made about your life and Reese Witherspoon is going to be playing the part. Are you a little disappointed that it's not Cameron Diaz or Scarlett Johansson or something? Well, I don't know why they didn't get Cindy Crawford or Elle McPherson. I mean, if they're looking for, like, my body double. <laughs> You were just inducted into the James Beard Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That was a, I mean, that was a completely unexpected honor and really one of those kind of career highlights. With the James Beard Award under your belt, do you think that you will ever be inducted into the Beard and Mustache Hall of Fame? <laughs> uh, I probably, yeah. How much do you think global warming has impacted baking times? You know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's impacting my thinking process right now. A little flick of the wrist. Listen, I shuck oysters the same way my grandpa did, in his hand with a knife. Your latest cookbook, Sunday Suppers, that is based off of your restaurant, Luke. Yes. At Luke, on Sundays, we do a set menu. The book's divided into four seasons, and then they're menus instead of being all the soups together, all the salads. So it kind of helps home cooks, I think, put, put a meal together. You like totally introduced the entire world to Indian cuisine. The entire world? Well, I know that it's really intimidating. I know that people think of Indian cuisine and they think of all the different spices and they think that they can't do it. But really all it is is that we, that we haven't been exposed to it in this country. How many times do you think your husband's butt has appeared on the Pioneer Woman blog? Approximately 74. Is his butt sponsored? Um, no, sponsored by me. Like the East Coast, West Coast rivalry in gangster rap, do you have anything like that with the New York Times? I think we read each other. We're very proud of what we do, and they're very proud of what they do. So far, there have been no murders. I think that's a good thing, and we hope to continue that. Have you ever had gooey duck? Yes, it's delicious. I like, um, I like slimy. I like chewy. I think if you like clams, it is a little bit chewy, but like I said, I think for me, chewy in a, chewy in a good way. What's more important, knife skills or the number of Twitter followers you have? Knife skills are the most important thing in the world. It drives me nuts when I watch people on TV and they hold their knife wrong. So when you hold your knife, Hold it like you mean it, like let your knuckle rest on the on the shaft of the blade. I can't believe I said shaft. When you need inspiration for a recipe, do you open a cookbook or turn on the computer? I usually consult my mother's recipe binder. I like to peruse food blogs. Simply Recipes is a really good source. Bakerella, Smitten Kitchen, Savory Sweet Life. Has the internet done anything positive for food journalism? Oh, absolutely. No, no, I love the internet. The thing with the internet is we can make available 20,000 tested recipes in our database. We can really bring people a, a much deeper and richer experience. Have you ever made a Kool-Aid soaked pickle in the test kitchen? No, but I have had a friend that's tried it and there's an art to it. They're very interesting, very colorful. Do you want to thumb wrestle with me? Let's thumb wrestle. All right. Who would you rather have cooked for you, Anthony Bourdain or Katy Perry? Who's Katy Perry? <laughs> oh, I don't do the wrist roll like oh, that, yeah, though. I, I don't think you. <laughs> you want bacon-wrapped butter. Oh, that's going to be my next <laughs> recipe. Deep fried, maybe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> talking! Talking! <laughs> talking. <laughs> if you were going to throw down with Mark Bittman, what would you throw down over? I'd throw him down with Bittman. He's a punk. <laughs> I, I beat her. <laughs> Who's the next?